Old school, the moon in the second house. The second house relates to Taurus, the second sign. And the second house relates to Taurian ideas. So the second house is the area of what it is that is of value and worth, what you appreciate and enjoy, what it is that turns you on and makes you feel good. This can be food, it can be money, possessions, assets. It can be compliments, it can be ice cream or chocolate, it can be love, it can be good furniture, it can be good art or good music. It's about the sensual side of life and what it is that makes you feel good, not only about yourself, but about the outside world as well. The second house relates to the second seven year period of life, the period of seven to 14 years old. With the first house, with the moon in the first house, you were working out who you are. Over seven to 14 years old, you're getting the basics of what it is that actually is of value and worth to you. What it is that turns you on and makes you feel good. Now, when young or when under a challenging aspect, the moon in the second house can actually be quite possessive and it can have the sense of feeling that, well, if I've got all the money and if I've got good clothes and good furniture and a big larder full of food, I'll be all right. But can they ever have enough? As they age, they begin to realise that it doesn't matter how much you've got, it's what you do with it that counts. And indeed, as they really age, people with the moon in the second house realise, well, you can't take it with you, so you might as well have fun spending it, otherwise you end up being the richest corpse in the graveyard. Moon in the second house is actually a really good position for the moon. It takes things in a slow and deliberate way. It likes to look at what it is that's going on and think, right, so is this valuable to me? Is this valid or is this invalid? And it's not so much how do I make money out of this, although when younger that can be the main theme of the moon in the second house. It's more like what do I gain, what do I stand to gain out of this and how much can I put back in? The moon in the second house is very good with nurturing people. It knows that the secret to making people feel good about themselves isn't so much giving them money or giving them praise, it's giving them hot, warm food. Because someone with a warm with a belly full of warm food is going to actually feel really much better about being who they really are. As they age, people with the moon in the second house become more and more generous. The more they give, the more they've got to give. I know it's an old saying, but it does work. I like the moon in the second house. If you're born with a moon in the second house, especially as you get older, you look back and you realise, I've always had everything I need. I've not always had everything you want, but you've always had everything you need. So as you age, that will stick around. So the moon in the second house does breed a sense of emotional stability and confidence as you age.